Okay, well, we're gonna find out how British I am. Let's do it. You're about to go on holiday. 7 a.m. And you sat in the departure lounge. What do you drink? Cup of Earl Grey, cup of builder's breakfast, a coffee, a pint. Glass of orange juice, obviously a pint. The hairdresser holds up the mirror. You hate the new haircut. What do you do? Tell them it's great. Go and fix the place right. Come exactly what you think of the place. Snarling a nod before tipping them. I wouldn't tip them. Uh, I'm going to say politely ask if they can make it more what I had in mind. If it's too late, though, I'm going to just nod and walk out and say thank you so much you're introduced to a new colleague but don't catch the name how do you react yeah but technically it's both of these these three right here avoid using their name guess their name if appropriate or ignore them what i actually do right is hang out with them around other people and then like hopefully they say the name and i'm like oh john so like then I get it. And then I keep saying the names and then I wouldn't forget it again. When did you have your last cup of tea? You wave at your best friend in the street, but you realize it wasn't them. Do you laugh it off? Happens to everyone. Chase them down to explain what happened. Cry. Replay the moment over and over again in your mind until something even more embarrassing happens. Have a drink. Okay. You and your partner are both adamant. That's a British word. That each other eats the last hobnob. How do you resolve the situation? Split it in two. Do what they say you need it. Open another packet so you can both have one. Argue about it and break up. What's the hobnob? Obviously, argue about it and break up. Why Why can't she just have it? I mean, I'm going to just open another packet then, right? But like, I don't know. Someone knocks into your bar and spills a beer. You, um... Say sorry, it's probably your fault anyway. Pretend that nothing happened. I'd probably say sorry, let's be honest. Your flat is freezing cold, but it's too early in the year to put your heating on. What do you do? I'd put the heating on. Sit there suddenly and moan about how cold it is. Put the heating on. Oh, yeah. Put put the heating on. Are uh, England going to win the World Cup? No. You sat in the window seat of the plane and need the loo. God, I sound British. But the person in the aisle seat is asleep. What do you do? Gently wake him up and ask if they let you out. Risk lasting internal damage and refusing to say anything. Cough loud and loud into the wake up. Try and squeeze past them without waking them up. But they do. Just looks as like you're trying to sit in their lap. Loo. Um... I genuinely try and squeeze past me if they walk up and say, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, and then keep going. You've started to bump into a new colleague and train and work every morning, so you change your commute, arrive at work half hour early, talk to them, it's nice to be nice, ignore them forever. Yep. As British as Stephen Fry walking a corgi outside Buckingham Palace, who the hell is Stephen Fry? Oh, don't know him. Okay. You're awkward, you're easily embarrassed, you're sickeningly polite, you're as British as they come. Fuck you. Okay. Well, bye.